Hi everyone, I'm Etienne, creative producer at GovTech. Today on My Friend Tell Me One, we are at the beautiful Singapore Botanic Gardens where we will be speaking to Zi Qiang, an N Parks officer. Hello, I'm Zi Qiang. I work at the Singapore Botanic Gardens. I've been working here for the last five years and today I'm going to show you how we use technology to help us do our job better. We have these uh, robotic mowers that cut the grass for us. We tested them over the last one year or so and uh, we started to roll them out quite in full force uh, a few months ago actually. We have uh, 15 of them deployed throughout the Botanic Gardens now. Each robot actually has its own turf and that turf area is surrounded by a cable that's buried in the ground. So when the robot detects the cable, it will turn around. Since the robots are quite new, people get very curious about them and uh, they, tr uh, they try to play with them, especially some of the little kids. They try to run after the robots and the robots don't like it very much. La. So uh, what we do now is that uh, we run the robots at night when there are fewer people in the gardens. One of the earliest uh, things that we did uh, was to actually digitise all of our tree inspection. The older devices were actually uh, brought in during the age when there was uh, no uh, 4G wireless. And so uh, we actually had to bring these devices back to the office and put them on the docking station uh, so that we could download the data. So these days, uh, with the iPads and uh, 4G wireless technology, we are able to uh, transmit the data directly back from site. The public can actually use trees.sg, which is available uh, and accessible through the internet. And it was built as a collaboration between MPUB and GovTech. If you're interested in finding out what trees are growing outside your house, you can uh, actually uh, go onto trees.sg. So in the past, uh, in order for us to get a better look at uh, what's happening up in the crown of the tree, uh, we used to have to uh, climb up all the way there. Using a drone saves us all the time that is required to actually rig up the uh, ropes and ensure that uh, all the ropes and uh, all the lines are actually safe for us to climb up in the first place. And of course, it saves us a lot of energy. <laughs> We've been using drones for the last uh, two years at least, yes, uh, in, at the Singapore Botanic Gardens, and uh, not just in Singapore Botanic Gardens, but uh, also increasingly around uh, uh, different parts of uh, Singapore as well. There's something new to see and to do every day. Uh, one day, you might actually need to climb a tree. Uh, the next day, you might actually uh, see a palm that's uh, fruiting and uh, it probably hasn't fruited in the last 50 years. And uh, maybe uh, the next day, uh, you might actually have to do a wildlife survey. So um, yeah, it's quite a varied and exciting job and uh, I quite uh, appreciate that. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are watching it on Facebook, give our Facebook page a like. If you are watching this on YouTube, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click here for more GovTech videos. See you next time.